Ken Cole here. We are in front of the Fox Studios, and with me is John Hurwitz, one of the co-creators of Cobra Kai. It's an honor to be here. And uh, John, so I know a lot of fans are wondering what's going on. Like, what is the strike? You know, why are writers striking right now? And and what what would you say to fans? First of all, I would say to fans, thank you for your love and support of Cobra Kai. We love this show as much as you do. We're eager to get back to it and. Season six is going to be amazing. We hate to have to uh, have a little break from it right now. It's not just about us. It's about the industry as a whole. Uh, you know, as the times have changed in the, in the last 20 years or more, uh, you know, when there's new media, when there were DVDs, there was, uh, you know, uh, the studios had to figure out how they're continuing to pay people uh, for their work. With streaming, it's a whole elevated way where... Um, you know, you have a show, you put your, you know, uh, a whole team of people works really, really hard on it for a long time. Uh, it used to be that you make money up front, you make some money, uh, you know, down the road as well as it's, as it's re-aired. Every time you would see a rerun of a sitcom on television, a writer would get paid, actors would get paid, people in the industry who put their blood, sweat and tears into the project, they would all get paid over and over again when it would go on dvd they would get paid everybody was making money uh as the studios made money what's going on right now which has been the problem is with the with uh with streaming in particular a show's on there and they have a very low level uh model in which people uh, creators writer, writers performers act everybody uh has a limit to how much they can make while the streamers themselves are making constant money, constant subscribers, constant people watching the show. So a show like Cobra Kai, which you guys have made a giant hit, the studios are making money forever on it. But, you know, the rest of us who've worked really hard on it end up uh, kind of high and dry in the long run. And it's not about looking for more money than you would typically get in the past. It's really just making it be making the business be similar to how it was in the past where if you're contributing something that's making people money then you see the money as well so that's one element of it but that's just one of the major issues that are being talked about uh in the writer's strike beyond that there's concerns about ai for example that's something you've probably heard about and you know ai is coming there's no secret with that uh but you know people at the studios um are looking for any way to pay people less and to have greater ownership of things. So there's talk of internally at a studio, they have come up with an idea and they have AI do the early drafts of stuff so that the studio owns the property. There's no creator involved. And then they hire one or two writers to come in and sort of polish up work that, you know, that, that the machine is doing. And, you know, we're, we don't have our heads in the sand. We recognize that there's constant, um, progress in society and technology but you're not making a show like cobra kai with ai you need uh, a group of writers in a room uh you need people who are creating it and then you need people who are a group of writers working with each other to add that complexity that people fall in love with the uh the the, the fresh storylines the more sophisticated elements of the story that keep, keep people coming back those are things that are a lot harder for a machine to do. So, you know, that's one of the elements that we're fighting for to keep the job of a screenwriter there. So when my children, if they want to be screenwriters in the future or anyone's children, that it's still an opportunity. It's still something that isn't just a limited job for limited people. Oh, who do we got here? <laughs> oh, wow. Come on in here. Come on in, come on in here. Oh, One second. Hello. Hi. 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 How's it going? So some of you may recognize Alicia from the show. She's much friendlier in person than Kim Dayoon is. <laughs> so, I don't know if you've met uh, Ken Cole. Haven't yet. Wonderful to meet you. Yes, amazing performance. Amazing. It's fashion boots. I'm I'm the husband. But he's also an amazing actor and a, and a big supporter of yes. everything we're doing. And it's not just about the WGA. It's about the stack. No, it really is about you know, really supporting our, our sister unions. It's always unbelievably important for civil like unions, and without the writers, we wouldn't do anything. The word is the most important. Then come the actors. Yeah. Then the directors. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the directors, where are the directors? No, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you. 
Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, this is uh, Ken does uh, a lot of uh, uh, the content for the Cobra Kai community. Yes, yes. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's uh, it's amazing to cover such an amazing show. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, big uh -oh. brave man. <laughs> yes. Awesome, bro. I'll let you guys continue yeah. there. Thank you. Thanks for saying hi. Bye. So, John, let me ask you. A lot of fans, you know, they see the show, they love the show. They see the amazing performances. They see the amazing stunt sequences. But what is it that a writer does for a show like Cobra Kai? Okay, so this is a really good question because... You know, I you know we I keep up with the fandom a little bit, and I know that there was, uh, you know, concern about like they're filming, and people were excited that they're filming still without us there. Right. And the truth of the matter is, uh, you know, not only are we creating the show in the writers' room and working with our writers in the writers' room, but every single day in production, all day long, we're working on uh, on improving what's on the page, collaborating. There's the magic that happens on set when it's not just the writers and the directors and the actors, everyone on the team is swimming in the same direction. We're all collaborating. It's our, our costume designer, Frank Helmer comes and he's like, I got this great idea for a t-shirt that has this on it. Right. And we, as the writers are uh, contributing and, and tweaking a lot, uh, you know, the words on one of Dimitri's shirts or something like that. Or we're on set every time we're filming a scene, there will be a rehearsal at first. And pretty much every single scene that we've ever done on the show, we'll watch a rehearsal, we'll be there, we'll come up with an extra line. We'll be like, you know what, that line isn't working right. Let's adjust the line a little bit. Sometimes so some improv happens there and we're making adjustments to the script. Every single day, uh, we're usually uh, collaborating with our actors who are coming up with questions and things like that and saying, hey, maybe we do a little something here. I'm, I'm feeling this, what's the intent here? Could I say this? or I, I want this to be clear and then we come up with something and we're constantly issuing new drafts of the scripts throughout production. Now that's not to say, I'm not trying to scare everybody. Episode one, which is filmed in season six, is going to be great. It's going to be fine. It's an episode that um, we, we all really put a lot of uh, focus into. We were there prepping with Joel, who was directing for us. Um, we, uh, we prepped with the department heads because all that was right before the strike. Um, they filmed without us. It was a tough thing. All the actors on set, it was tough for them. It was tough for Joel. Worst case scenario, we watched the episode and we're trying to piece it together in the editing room and we're missing something. We'll pick things up. We'll fix it. Anything that's not working, we'll be able to fix in the long run. But that, that worked for one episode. Uh, why we were thrilled for them to shut down after that was because if you keep making more and more episodes and you don't have writers on set, then you're in a situation where there's more problems that could go on. And then suddenly it's like, I don't need one day of reshooting or additional photography. Now I need three. Now I need six. Now they, and that's a lot of money that goes into the, into the production budget. And then when we come out on the other side of this, they're going to be like, okay, you have your budget. And now we're in a situation where they've lost a bunch of money. And now we have to spend a lot more money on this and that, which makes the show worse in the long run because if we're spending money on reshoots and we're not spending money on other things that would make the show better so uh, a writer's job is not just in the writer's room it's not just the scripts it's every single decision that gets made on the show for uh, Hayden Josh and I as the showrunners we're making hundreds of decisions a day and there are uh, and there are things that when they were filming that first episode we were not making those decisions and he would speak to you know, when, when they finished filming, we were speaking to Joel and it's like, it was tough for him. We we're speaking to the actors. It was tough for them because there were times where they would typically come to us. And these are all people who worked on the show for a while and we trust them and we know that they made the best decision that they could. But there's no substitute for the collaboration of writers and the entire team on a television series. Wow. Wonderful. Well, so we know we're on pause right now with this with the season six. What would you say to fans right now as far as uh, there being a delay uh, when it's actually released and then also how worth it it will be for that wait to happen? Well, first of all, we don't know what the delay is going to be yet. That's something that we'll find out when the strike is over. None of us want to be striked. Let's be very clear. As fun as this is, we get to see a lot of our friends walking by. We got a pretzel truck today, you know, and... <laughs> 
there's a camaraderie that you enjoy here. But that's all, we're all like, you know, uh, using this as a distraction from our sorrows, because right now we're not doing what we love doing. Our, what, what we um, live for is making the show and making the, the content that we do. None of us want to be here, but it's worth it because it's worth it for us and work it worth it for the fans because not only will it uh, lead to better content on Cobra Kai going forward as the writers all get back, but greater content uh, mo motivated writers who are able to earn a living. Like if you're not able to earn a living, then you're not going to have as many people writing good content. You're not going to have as many people who could pursue these jobs going forward. Right. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's about the livelihood of, of the people who are commuting and contributing to the work that you love. Now, it will be worth the wait. We, when, when we are finished, we've been already working in the writer's room. We've planned our season in the broad strokes. We have several, several outlines. We have several scripts. We have lots planned, and our brains never turn off. We're always thinking about uh, where things are going to go on the other side of it. And as soon as we're done with the strike, we'll get back at it. And it's going to have a motivated, excited, unified group of people who feel like they're putting in the work and being appreciated for the work that they're doing. That's that's absolutely amazing. And uh, I can't wait. I know I can't wait. And um, I want to thank you so much for answering these questions. And uh, I know it means a lot to all the fans. And I know a lot of we're with you. We know how good the show is. We know how important it is to have amazing content and uh so so thank you for for talking with us uh, it's my pleasure and thank you for being here no mercy no mercy <laughs>